and welcome back to the Spoonie Stitcher channel. I'm Shannon, the Spoonie Stitcher, and this is the Stitchery. I am doing Crystal at Chronically Crocheting's um, book tag. I'm a Gurumi book tag, so I wasn't officially tagged. I uh, said I wanted to do it ever since she mentioned it to me. Hi, future Shannon here. <laughs> I wanted to explain something. I have a lot of crochet books. I know people have been saying that for this tag, but no, no, I have a lot. To show you all of those books would take forever. I have books that lots of other people talk about all the time. So I will show the book, but I will not go through every pattern that's in the book. I will not show any book that does not have strictly amigurumi patterns. That will be the only thing I include. Also, any books that are like booklets that came with a magazine or are bonus books as part of a subscription, no, I won't be showing those. Now, why do I have so many crochet books? <laughs> I live with chronic illness and I have for many, many years. I have had problems with my body at least since I was a teenager. I did struggle my teenage years in college was finally diagnosed as an adult. Because of this, I've had also many surgeries in my life. And surgery recovery is long and hard. People knew that I crocheted and they would give me books or gift cards so I could get books. Because when you don't feel like doing anything, even crocheting, looking at patterns is a great way to feel inspired even if you can't do anything. It's a fantastic way to feel like you're doing something when you're not doing something. You know, you write down, oh, I want to make that and stuff. And then you feel a little energized, even if you can't do anything. It's nice. So people who know me and who love me would get me books. And in the last few years, uh, I've been really into Amigurumi and they know that. So they've gotten me Amigurumi books or gift cards so I could get myself books. So that's why I have so many books generous people and lots of recovering from things where you just sit around. So I wanted to explain that so that I didn't have a million questions in the comment section of why do you have so many books? That's why. <laughs> I will make it go as fast and as brisk as possible with still giving you the information you came for. So grab something to drink, grab a snack if you like, grab a notebook and a pen, write down some of those titles and be ready for the Amigurumi book tag, 50 books plus. I thought it would be fun to start out with my very first Amigurumi crochet book. Um, this is the first one I ever got. And the funny thing is, when I got it, I had no intention of making anything that was 3D, but someone convinced me to, and I'm glad I did, because now I love making Amigurumi. I've made three things from this book. I have made the elephant, the hippo, and the seal. I really like these patterns because they are very, they're really very simple to make. And you, you do have to do a decent amount of sewing, but if you don't mind sewing, these are very, very easy. So, they're very basic patterns, and there's ten inside this book. It's, they're all designed by uh, Van White, and I recommend this book. So, my favorite subject in high school and college was literature and I absolutely love especially like British Lit and Shakespeare and uh, Alice in Wonderland, <laughs> Anne of Green Gables, Sherlock Holmes. So I really was intrigued by the style of these and the fact that they were from books. I love books. So she lays out exactly what you need for each section. And um, here's the Wizard of Oz, aren't they cute? The way the designer designed these is that you can make all these characters in the book, yes. 
but also it tells you how to make different pieces, like his hat, his cape. This was the first book that really taught me how to do color changes. I love this book. I, I have worn out the spine on this book. Um, I made Hamlet. There's his little skull. This was one of my first Amigurumi dolls ever, so I think it's pretty good. I think I did pretty good with the color changes, so yeah. This was her Hamlet, and I took his basics from the pattern and I felt he needed Ophelia. So I learned steps and techniques from her book and I made Ophelia. She is not in the book. I used his pattern to make her. So, is this beginner friendly? Hmm. That's a good question. So I would say if you already know about Amagurumi and you've done a little bit, then yeah, you can do this easily. Regardless of beginner status or not, this is a must get and mini Amagurumi. And I basically just showed you every pattern in the book. <laughs> but I will open it and show you the little table of contents. Um, is it beginner friendly? Yes. Yes, this is a very beginner friendly book. Uh, this is a, this is a charming little book on how to make tiny little things. And you don't have to make them this small. Here, let's see if I can show you. Okay. Yeah, so that's, that's all the patterns in the book. I've made the horse. In fact, I got this book because I wanted to make a maybe horse. <laughs> so I made him a little differently though. I made him into this, a unicorn. You do not have to use the size hook and size yarn they say to use. Use bigger stuff. I used a worsted weight and a, I wanna say a four millimeter? Don't quote me on the hook, but I know that this is a worsted weight yarn. So, see? And it's still mini. But yes, this this is a must get. I would say, I would say yes. My Little Crochet Christmas. This is a great book. I like this book a lot. Um, I really want to make the mice. The singing mice, aren't they cute? Um, I haven't made that one. I made the nativity set in here. The whole nativity set, minus the wise men. I will explain why in a minute, <laughs> but I will let you see the, the nativities characters. Um, okay. What I really like about this is that they're made from a base pattern. So as you can see, they kind of all look the same. That's because the base is one pattern. You know, you, you change the color for the faces and the bodies and that's it and then you know you to make them different you add a different headdress or make a beard or add a sash or do a little you know color change in the middle or something and that's it it's so easy it's really easy and i didn't even use i did not use the size hook that they recommended i did not use the size yarn they recommended they wanted me to go a lot smaller and i said no so yeah this is the best sheep pattern I've ever made. This little guy, I'll try to show you mine up here if I remember. Um, this little guy looks so complicated. He's so easy. He is so easy. I, I was flabbergasted how easy he was. So I haven't made anything but the nativity set from this book, but I have to say this, this is a must get. I mean, the, the patterns in here are just too cute. This is a must. Is it beginner friendly? The nativity is. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing though, I have to say, if you saw a picture of my nativity, um, you'll notice there's no wise men. There's no wise men because the wise men patterns are fine, but their headdresses and uh, accessories, the pattern is not written well. I was so frustrated making them that I just didn't include them at all. So there is that tiny drawback. 
but it doesn't stop me from making it again. But uh, I would still say get this book. It's still really good. Dress up, I'm a Garini. There are pros and cons with this book. First of all, the pro is how adorable it is. <laughs> but do you see what they're wearing? These little blue shirts. Okay, these are the four base patterns. You can make a dog, a deer, a bear, and an elephant. And they all have clothing that you can put on them. However, you do need to know that some of the outfits are not dress up. His little white shirt, you have to make on him. So the, the pants are separate, the kerchief is separate, but the little shirt, you have to make on him. You can't dress him in that. So that's a little bit of a bummer. However, uh, the fireman outfit is different. See, you can dress him in that. See how it's separate? I made Buddy the Cat as part of a crochet along on amagurumi.com. When this book came out, they had a crochet along for Buddy. This is Buddy, this little guy. And he came with a tent and clothes. And you could dress him up. And I made um, a few versions of that over here. I really like the Buddy pattern. I. I'm not a person who's as into making a pattern over and over and over again unless I really like it. I've made Buddy twice and have a third Buddy idea in my head on how I want to make him next time. That should tell you something. Buddy is a good pattern. I've also heard that the other patterns in here are wonderful. However, <laughs> you are supposed to use a very small hook to make them. If you don't, use the hook and yarn they recommended. Apparently, as I have seen on other channels, they can turn out enormous. If you're fine with that, great. Just be warned. This is not a beginner friendly book. This is a intermediate advanced crocheters book, but it's still really fun. I would still recommend it. I definitely recommend getting his little pattern pack off of Etsy. Um, so, yes. Hooked on Amigurumi. Yes, I know a lot of people talk about this book. There's a reason. It's wonderful. This is a great book. Beginner friendly. Mm-hmm. Yep. I would say yes. I would say there's a couple parts that might be tricky, but there's pictures and you can follow along slowly. If you need to see what a certain stitch is, that's what YouTube's for. This is a great book. I've made these two, the turtle and the starfish. And they were very easy. Uh, if I remember, I will put them over here somewhere. And um, I really wanna make the octopus. He's next on my list. I think, do not quote me, but I believe Alaska Crafty Girl Victoria has made the entire book. If not, she's come very close. She was on a mission to crochet the whole book and I believe she did it last year. But um, go to her channel and see her videos that are labeled about crochet. She also sews, so they, uh, she has content about that as well. I recommend this book. It is beginner friendly. Let's talk about this book. Super easy amigurumi. They look very simple and they look very easy. I wish that was true. They are not. They could be, <laughs> they really could be. But the way the pattern is written, I'm not a fan. I have made two birds. I made the chick and my parakeet. This is Sweet Pea. I changed the colors to look like Sweet Pea from Secret Life of Pets, which I will include a picture of over there. And it looks adorable, right? My first version did not look anything like the picture. To be fair, they do kind of tell you how to read these charts, 
but they're not fun to read. <laughs> Here's an example. That's your pattern. Ta-da! You get this and this. That's it. Oh, and by the way, it goes backwards. So it goes up instead of reading down. It does have nice, you know, big pictures, which is nice. The one thing this book does really well is when it tells you to place something, like wings or a beak or whatever. It's very clear about where you place it. I'll give it that. I like the idea, I really do, using different pieces for other parts, but hopping around a book and using charts you've never seen before, at best fair. Let's first talk about this book. Kawaii Crochet. First of all, the cover, so cute. So how did I find out about this book? Um, the world. Yeah, I don't really know a lot of people who don't know about this book because it's adorable and it's super fun. Is it beginner friendly? Yes, <laughs> except for the more complicated patterns in here. I am an intermediate, advanced, somewhere in there crocheter. I've been crocheting since I was 10, and I've been doing amigurumi for a few years. I made the baby bottle as a baby's first Christmas ornament for a friend of mine. So this one, I'll put mine over here, you can see. And that was easy. That was no problem. I had no problem reading that pattern. That was great. I love the book. I'm very happy I have the book. I have several things that I want to make out of this just this year. If you've been doing amigurumi for a while and you've gotten the hang of it, get this book. It's awesome. She also wrote a second book. Kawaii Garden. I love this book. I made a bunch of flowers for somebody last year. And I also made my little friend here, a bumblebee. Isn't it cute? He sits on my desk and looks adorable. This was so easy. And I made this, I think it was 45 minutes. That's good for me. That's really fast for me. So yeah, it was really easy and so cute. I recently made this for a project. Um, just the flower, not the bulb. Just that. And I made, um, I like how she splits it into colors. I really, really like that. Like she's got the blue section and um, purple. <laughs> so she splits everything into colors and she did that in her first book too. And I love that. This one's harder than that one. I mean, there's more challenging stitches and concepts. So this one's not beginner friendly. A couple patterns are, sure. But I would say you should be somebody who's been crocheting for a bit before you tackle something like this. Still get it, save it, and then when you're ready, try it. <laughs> okay, so. Those are all the books that I've made things out of. Let's go on to the next section. These are the ebooks I have. <laughs> I like them all. I haven't made anything from the Zumagurumi one book, but I know that Zumagurumi is one of the top books that everybody likes. So I guess I recommend it. Um, the doll book is written really well. It's a dress up doll book. It is not like the other doll book you've seen that looks similar. This one is made so that there's um, actual instructions, it's not just charts, so it's a very good book. The other books that you see are the Menagerie of Stitches, 100 Things to Crochet, or what, I'm forgetting the title. You can see it right here. <laughs> um, I recommend those books. I, I know that I didn't put them with uh, things I've made stuff out of, but I have. I have made stuff out of them. She's an excellent designer, Lauren Espy. If she made it, it's wonderful. I love those books, so get them all.
Okay, my crochet kit books will show up now. I might still be talking while they're on screen. Those are all the books. I am going to do a review on those books throughout the lifetime of my channel. I plan to do really in-depth reviews on the kit books, so I'm not going to go through them here. I will go through them as I make stuff out of them, and we will find out if they really are worth the money. I know people talk about these books a lot. They are by Carrie Lord. She she designs all of these, and they're really cool. They are basically one base pattern, and then different things you can do to make them into different animals. I haven't actually made anything from it yet, but I want to. <laughs> I really like her designs. I would say these are both, these are both must-gets. I have Amagurumi Treasures and Amagurumi Treasures too. <laughs> I love these books. The reason that I wanted to get these books was because they looked like beautiful decorations in a nursery. Characters. And I have not made anything out of these books. However, I have made this designer, I have made things by her, and I know she's an excellent designer. So yes, I would say these are great. And I know lots of people like these and no complaints, so must get. Pick a pow. If you have not heard of Pick a Pow, you're either new to Amagurumi or new to YouTube crochet channels <laughs> because everybody loves these books. They are written so well, they have great great tips i i love that they include tips on how to make things um one of the reasons i wanted this book was because elise le petit saint crochet channel she has made so many of these and i just had to get the book even though it wasn't really my style i had to get the book because she just made them look so awesome that i wanted to try it too so I have books one and two, and I plan on getting three. I really, really want three, because three has a dachshund. I know lots of people show this book, so I will quickly show you all the patterns that you can see. Sorry about the glare. Okay, so that was book one. Here's book two. I think my favorite one is the little seal at the top. That one. I think I want to make that one. See? Okay, that's the French Pick Pal. Unicorns and Dragons and more by Meteor Books. Book one. I got this book primarily for that one. I want to make the Tooth Fairy for my friend's little girls when they lose a tooth. I think it would be really cute. And book two has adorable things as well. They're all adorable. I just... I like fantasy creatures, they're really cute. I love the fawn. So I recommend these books. I haven't made anything out of them, but they are by different, there's different designers in here. They're a collaboration of all different designers, which is why they all look different. I've done patterns from several of these designers and I know that they're well-written. So these are, these are must, must gets. I first heard about these two books from Starlight and Stitches. Hey, Alice. Uh, she is a wonderful, wonderful channel. Please go check her out. I, I will put her name here so you can find it. She is a wonderful, wonderful book reviewer. She really goes through books and um, she did a book review on both of these. I mean, I completely blame you, Alice. <laughs> I mean, it's not my forte at all, but I had to get them. So they have really great patterns in here though. I mean, and again, it's a bunch of designers, you know, and they're not just one designer, but I will show you my favorites from both books. Guy, okay. he is so cute. I am making the mama monster with her babies. Cute, look, doesn't that look like Boo? See, I had to get it, I had to get it, must get. 
this book and I first saw it on a YouTube channel, Pamela's Adoring Crochet, another fabulous YouTuber. I love him. I'm just doing all kinds of shout outs today. But I love this book and I'll be honest, I am not a bugs person. I am not a bugs person. Now I do, I do like, I do like bumblebees, but the ladybug. I mean, she is so cute. They're all cute. They're all really, really, really cute. And I've heard, because I haven't started any yet, they're really, really easy. I haven't heard anybody talk about bad things about this book. So I would say put this one on your list. I got this one from my cousin. Hey, girl. Thank you. I got it for Christmas. It's so cute. They're all so cute. Now, I've heard one thing about this. A lot of people don't like that you close the head and have to sew it to the body. Okay, then don't close the head. There you go. Just count how many stitches you need for the neck. Count how many stitches you need for the head. Stop. Problem solved. So, this book is so cute oh my goodness you guys look look at all the animals and they look so easy i would say it's beginner friendly her patterns usually are honestly i've made a bunch of her patterns from like her blog and her youtube channel they're usually really 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 easy she was one of the first crocheters that convinced me i could try amigurumi so this one I got because I thought oh it would be so cute to make the entire thing for one of my friends kids when they get older I do follow this lady on Instagram and if you follow her she releases extra pieces for this book she released a cute little tea set for the Queen that you can crochet they're not always free but they still go with the book it's same style same feel same kingdom I recommend this book I haven't made anything from it, but she's very meticulous. <laughs> I don't think she'd make mistakes. She's very meticulous about her pattern. Um, I would not get this if you're a beginner because lots of color changes, lots of different kind of steps and stuff. However, if you want a challenge or if you already know how to do amigurumi, yes. This is another one that I saw on Le Petit Saint Crochet's channel and I went, I gotta get that book too. <laughs> it's just too cute. So it's got a symbol for a character for each holiday and they're not always holidays you think of. Like they've got Quinceanera, that's pretty awesome. They've got First Holy Communion, that's adorable. Baby number two, yeah. Which is precious. This one is so cute. First day of school. Look at that. Aww. So, lots of different designers in here as well. I love this book. I think it's so cute. I would say, if you think it's cute, get it. All the Zumi Gurumi books, from what I've heard, are written well and really fun to do. Maybe not for a beginner, uh, but maybe. I, I don't know. I mean, I like most of the patterns in here. And again, it's several different designers, but let's be honest, I got this book for one reason and pretty much one reason. The Corgi. <laughs> if you don't know, I had a Corgi and she passed away, but I, I've loved Corgis my whole life. I can't remember a time when a corgi was not my favorite dog breed. I've been a corgi girl forever, and I plan to keep being one. So every time I see a cute corgi pattern, I get it. This book is super cute, and um, here's the patterns. I love this one. It reminds me of Pebbles Flintstone. I love this little dodo bird. He's so cute. So, and then the saber tooth is really sweet looking, so. Yep, it's another Meteor Books, multiple designers, so cute. I would like to talk about Megan Cross.
Kreiner. She is a designer that almost nobody ever uses her name. Uh, you have probably seen a crochet pattern by her, but you had no idea. She designs lots of those kits and they say, make a bunch of dogs, make a bunch of horses, make a bunch of cats. She designed those. Um, the one that's the classic Disney characters, I have an ebook version of that one. She designed that. Um, many others. But the reason we are going to talk about her for a moment is because she takes up a fair amount of my collection. <laughs> I love her books. She designs the cutest crochet animals that look like cartoons. They're adorable. I mean, okay, so we have the farm. We have the ocean, okay, excuse me, bath time. Bath time buddies, which is basically the ocean. And the zoo. These are wonderful. I have made the goat. He is in the farm book. I loved the goat. The goat was really easy. It was really easy. I, I, was, easy, I was able to follow it, no problem. I plan to make a lot more of her patterns. She also does um, this really cute thing where, so this is the zoo and she has zookeepers <laughs> and people who work there. And then, so you can feed the animals and stuff. She has felt designs in the back of her book with templates so that you can make little accessories for the animals and stuff. And I just think that's such a cute touch. So there's the zoo. I will say that Bath Time Buddies is incredibly hard to find. I had to get mine off of thrift books and it's used. Um, very, very used. It's very beaten up. And again, this one has a little mer person. And some of her patterns come with pieces that you need to make out of felt. So she includes the templates for you. For instance, the whale, his bottom side is fabric. And you don't have to do it that way. That's just, she gives you the option. <laughs> See? Wonderful. And then the farm, I will show you the goat that I made. I made the baby one, it's in the back. That one. It was really easy. You guys, it was so easy. It was he's so cute. <laughs> I love this book. Um, look at the mice. Oh my gosh. So, Megan Kreiner, if you see her name on something, just buy it. You'll love it. She'll write it well. I promise. It's great. I also have her Christmas book. I love her Christmas book. Just real quickly, it is part of the collection. It is her book. So, put this one on your list if you didn't already. Allison Hoffman, I love her designs. She is the creator. I believe her Instagram is Crafty is Cool. Follow her Instagram. She has tips on how to do the craziest stuff with Amagurumi. She also is the one who makes all of those um, celebrity doll lookalikes. Mm -hmm. And she has several kits. And uh, she has the friends kit, the office kit. Those are the two I can think of off the top of my head. Yes, I have them both. <laughs> um, but let's talk about her books. I have the Amaguru Me, which is how to make lookalikes or celebrity characters. And this book is so cool because it's not, it's not really a pattern book. I mean, it doesn't tell you how to make exact characters. It tells you how to do different upper bodies how to do lower halves, how to do, how to do shoes, how to do different hair, how to do things with Sharpies, um, how to make different kinds of clothes, how to sculpt faces so that you can, if you want to, make any celebrity or yourself. You can even make yourself. So I love this book. I got this book purely as a reference book because she has so many of her great tips in here. I love this book. She also made an animal one. This cover does not do this book justice. Yeah, 
way cuter stuff inside. Way cuter stuff inside. Um, the back's not bad. I love the bulldog. Look at that. He's so cute. She tells you how to make the different animals. She she does. She's got dogs, cats. She's got weird ones in here too. She's got uh, rabbits, guinea pigs, turtles, peng penguins. Yep. You you want a pet penguin? Yeah. Foxes, unicorns, ponies, dinosaurs. Sure. Yeah. Dragons. Why not? But she also has how to make like pet beds and uh, bowls and collars and little ball little balls for them to play with tennis balls. Um, collars, leashes, but my favorite thing in this entire book is the dog and cat chart. She's got the dog breed, the head you need, the ear you need, the body you need, the leg you need, the tail you need, the yarn type that's best for that breed. This is so awesome. You can make any dog you want and cat. There's a cat one too. You can make any dog breed if you just use, you know, the right head with the right ear with the right leg. It's so cool. It's so awesome. I would say get this book, if nothing else, for a reference guide on how to make different animals. This is a great book. This one and her people one. Get these. These are wonderful. This is Snuggle and Play Crochet. You make the lovey and then you make the doll companion to go with it. And they teach you how to make both. And uh, my favorite in here is the reindeer. This is one of the reasons I got the book. The reindeer. How cute is he? So, I've heard, I have not made them myself, but I've heard that they're very easy and they're very cute. So I would say this is a must get. A couple years ago, the website We Crochet had a book sale. The books were one, three, or five dollars. These are a couple that I got on that uh, during that sale. So the first one is My Crochet Animals, and these are really cute. These are dress-up animals, and they really are dress-up animals. They are not, you have to stitch clothing on them you can make the clothing and make the doll and then interchange the clothing. So there's the dolls. Well, animals, I guess. I love the moose. He's my favorite. He's so cute. And then they've got lots of clothing options. Oh, the only exception to the rule is the baby bunny. She is in a onesie and it's made on her. So she's the only exception. But I will show you where the patterns actually start because it's all beautiful pictures until then. This much of the book is just pictures. It's just pictures on how cute they are. So this, I, I haven't made anything out of this, but it's so cute. I only got it for like $3. So in that case, I would say it's a must get, but I haven't made anything from it and I haven't seen anyone else make anything from it. So if this is a book you would like me to make something out of and review, Leave a comment down below. I would be happy to do that if I have enough interest. So let me know, okay? Next on that same sale was this one. I thought this was too cute because it just reminds me of, you know, plain make-believe. You can just, they've got different sets. They've got the cute doctor set and, um, one of my favorites, the little construction worker. I, these are made so that toddlers can play with these like you would any other imagination kit. So they've got lots of different things in here. They've got the hairdresser, painter, beauty salon, post office. So this is the post office. I haven't made anything from here yet, but I, I really plan to because my friend's kids are getting older and it's like, ooh, they're about the right age now. Here's the doctor kit. I should make that one just for irony. <laughs> I think there's one more in here. Yes, the police station. So there's there's good kits in here. This, this is a good 
book. I don't know if it's written well. I assume it is. I would say if you can get it for a really good price and you're interested in this kind of concept of making things for kids to play with for like, you know, make-believe, yeah, get it. This is a book that I'm really sad. Uh, lots of people have reviewed and told me that there's lots of mistakes in the patterns. I kind of don't care because I've been crocheting long enough that I think I can make it work. But I guess I can't really recommend it as a must get because apparently there's so many mistakes in the patterns. So I would say if you love Amigurumi and you're interested in what I'm about to show you and you can get it for a good price, get it. If you're new to Amigurumi or if you just think it's cute but you don't know how to fix somebody else's mistake or how to get around it, Maybe not. And I'll be honest, my favorite are the bumblebee, of course, and the pig. But I could see myself making all of them. I mean, they are just cute. This uh, designer, this designer, <laughs> makes several of these kind of books. Uh, they are also dress-up animals, and they are truly dress-up animals, except I do think you have you can stitch on boxers, or like underwear, you know, undergarments, um, to make them a little more modest. <laughs> but no one talks about this one. <laughs> I haven't seen people talk about this one, this particular one with the elephants on the front. And the elephants are like the best part. They are so cute. Now, I also like the other animals in here, of course, but... Um, yeah, I got it for the elephants. I truly did. So all the outfits you see can fit on all the other ones because it's kind of the same body shape so that they can exchange clothes, which is really cool. There's one more thing I want to mention about this book. It is in UK terms. That's important. They're very different from US terms. So if you don't know how to read UK terms, you can get it. Just know that you need to know how to convert. They have names, you guys. They have names. How cute is that? And they have little stories. They just... Oh. She even has a teddy bear, I think. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I haven't made anything out of it, but I know that her first book, people raved about. Um, it has a bunny on the front, I think. And um, so... I'm sure her second book's just as good. This is so cute. I love this one. I have not made anything out of this book, but Caroline from um, For the Love of Crochet has made the dog. It's enormous, you guys. You need to go to her channel and just see her book tag because she shows the dog. It's huge. These are all made with big, thick, fluffy yarn. There are three of these books. I plan to get the other two because I think they're adorable. They always have at least two or three mother and baby patterns in each book. This one is the bunny, the koala, and the octopus all have babies. So, but they're very cute. And um, I think she said that this was really easy. So I guess I recommend it. I mean, I recommend it anyway, just cause just because, I mean, how many books do you know that you just make stuff with big fluffy yarn? So. I love this designer and I have made several things by her. This is Irene Strange. This designer usually does collaborations with another designer. Um, her name is Ilaria Kalari, Col I believe. It's this, this lady here. Uh, they collaborate a lot and they do something called Amarugurumi Adventures. And they have uh, crochet alongs, mystery crochet alongs in the fall and the winter. I have made patterns by both of them and I've made patterns that they collaborated on. So when this lady wrote a book, I said I have to get it because I know it'll be good. So Irene Strange. I think it's kind of new. I believe it came out last year. It's got very unique animals in here, but she's got wonderful pictures on how you put things together. And I really appreciate that. that. That's a really nice tip. You know, different sections like birds. And oh, look at the blue lobster. He's funny. <laughs> He's cute. So I would say I would recommend it only because 
she is a good designer and I have made things from her and if she made it I'm sure it's good so I, I would say yes these little dolls aren't they precious and she's got two versions she's got the little doll and the bigger doll so I will show you patterns because she splits them between these smaller dolls don't you love the little knight he is so cute and the larger dolls so you could make a whole family all different designs all different things she is a great designer she does lots of stuff in magazines she does lots of stuff you know, she has her own Etsy shop or online shop or whatever and she's a good designer so I'm, I'm sure this book is great and I will be doing something from this book later this year so look for a review on this one this concept is so cute you crochet the fairy tale so you can make little fairy tale groups stories for kids I think that is such a cool idea you also reuse characters like the wolf, the prince, but you can make the whole story. I mean, they, they've got, you know, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. They have Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, and her prince is used three times in this book. Um, I will show him in a minute. We have the Ugly Duckling. See, you can crochet the story Read it to your kids, and they've got something to kind of act it out with. Three little pigs, and the wolf, of course. Same wolf as the cover. He is used for several stories in here as well. We have Red Riding Hood, just like the cover, but I will show you Grandma. <laughs> they also have the Grandma clothes for the wolf. <laughs> and um, they have the wolf and the seven little goats. I remember that one. That little guy saves the day. <laughs> um, they have Rapunzel. And see, there's Snow White's prince, but he's also Rapunzel's prince or whatever. So you could just change his hair color or his clothes, make him look like a different prince, you know. So we've got Cinderella. And again, the prince. And we have her little mouse friend. Do, do, do. I've never heard of this designer, I've never made anything by them, but it was just too cute not to try. So I don't know if I can recommend this book or not, but honestly, if you think it's just too cute and you want to give it a try like I did, go for it. I have not made anything from this book, I got it for Christmas, it's so cute. I have nothing I can say about this book yet, I just got it. so. Um, they all look really cute. Again, it's another you can make the fairy tale concept. I love that. Um, here's the characters inside. I'm trying, I need the light, but I'm trying to get the glare off the shiny pages. So, I like it. I mean, it's really cute. I, I've, I haven't made anything from it. I haven't even read it yet. I, I don't know. <laughs> I just got it, so I don't know, but I'm adding it to the video because it's an Amigurumi book I own, so. I've seen people talk about this one. I don't think anyone's ever made anything from it, though, which is interesting to me because they look so quick to make. So, and I I just showed you all the animals. Well, actually, there's, I guess there's more on the back. Okay, so. There, you've now seen all the animals <laughs> that are in the book. And they are pretty much the same bodies. Here, I'll just show you that. They're pretty much the same bodies. Um, I'm sorry, I can't give you the glare. There we go. Um, but, you know, you change the ears, change the hair, change the color. You make a different animal. They, they looked fun and cute. And this author also has one on sea creatures coming out this year. And last year made one about birds. So I don't have the birds one, but I want that one. I really want the Sea Creatures one, and that's coming out this year, so I'm very excited. I like to go on Amazon and just tool around Amazon and see what's new in the world of crochet. And I look at the reviews and see if there's any. There aren't any reviews for this book. 
it I just love this style it looks like claymation I love claymation movies and doesn't it look like it came straight out of Chicken Run, Wallace and Gromit, uh, Rudolph, you know, you make the entire farm. This entire book is how to make the farm, including the barn. It, it's how to make everything. It's got, it's got, <laughs> it's got, you know, over 20 cute crochet patterns to make your very own mini farm, says so. And the cat is... I don't know if I recommend it or not. I haven't made anything from it, but I want to. Now, I said I wouldn't include booklets, but I, I meant I wouldn't include the ones you can't get. You can still get this one, so. It's just in the back of a Michael store somewhere. But here's the patterns. This is all that's in it. Horse, sheep, cow, mouse, hen, and pig. And I wanted that one. Have I made it yet? No, but I have it. <laughs> Christmas. I got this book in December of last year. I haven't made anything from it. Pamela's Adoring Crochet has. Um, these are very cute patterns. Um, this is by um, Sarah Jane Hicks. She makes a lot of cute patterns for uh, in like British magazines and stuff. And I. I love her patterns, so. Those are the patterns inside. Can you see? Okay. How did I hear about this book? Again, I was on Amazon and I looked around and I found it. <laughs> I love Lauren Espy. She is the designer. I have all of her ebooks. Um, I have the, this one, <laughs> the Crochet Cafe and the Whimsical Stitches, and she has one more physical book. It's very cute. I don't have that one, but it's very cute. I've seen it. Um, but everybody talks about this one. Some people talk about this one, too. If she designed it, it's wonderful. That's all you need to know. These are great. This is really great for beginners. I haven't made anything out of it yet. I just got it again. But I know that lots of people say that this is such a beginner-friendly book. So, so this is a yes. And this is a yes. I've made several of her patterns, just not from the books. I made them from the e-books. <laughs> or on her blog. Or a crochet along or something. One of my favorite things about this book is the style. It looks like the materials and abbreviations and things you need to know about the pattern before you start looks like a chalkboard menu it's such a cute detail i love that so much all of these patterns are so cute easy this is a must get i, I think especially if you think crochet food is adorable this is a must get and you don't have to put faces on them i don't always put faces on mine and you don't have to do that i just it's so cute either way i have one more book to talk about it is brand new, not just to me, but to the world. <laughs> because of the title, I wanted to see if this book was good. It's by a designer who already wrote another book that I love, so I know the designer's good, but I wanted to see if it was really true. Can you really crochet it in an hour? I have a review on this book. I won't tell you either way. I will tell you that this is a good, that you, you should get this book. I will tell you, you should get this book. So stay tuned for that video. But yes, this is a must get. She wrote the Hooked on Amagurumi book. So this is a must get. It's brand new, but it's a must get. Okay, so that was all my books. <sighs> we made it. <laughs> I'm sorry this video is so long, <laughs> but I hope you had fun and I hope you got to write down a bunch of books maybe you'd never seen before. Okay, so the grand total was, drum roll, <laughs> I have a lot of books. I really should make things out of them. I think that's part of why we're supposed to do this tag. It's also supposed to remind us, oh yeah, I have that book. I should make something out of that. <laughs>
I hope you had fun <laughs> seeing my crazy book collection. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you like this kind of content or this kind of vibe, maybe consider being part of the Zebra Yarny family and subscribe down below. So, I will say bye bye for now. And remember, Spoonies can stitch it up too.